Today's recipe is the perfect bridge between the fall and the upcoming Christmas season. I'm sharing with you a German cake called Rotweinkuchen or red wine cake. This is a cake made with red wine, cinnamon, and chocolate, which creates a spiced cake perfect for chilly weather get-togethers. Join me today as I share with you this quick and easy recipe and stick with me to the very end where I will tell you about some channel updates on what to look forward to in the next month and a half. Let's get started. For this cake, you're going to need to separate the eggs and beat the egg whites. I like to start with that since egg whites need clean, dry beaters, and then I don't have to rewash them before making the rest of the batter. So you're going to add four room temperature egg whites to a bowl and beat them until you reach stiff peaks. Then in a separate large bowl, add 225 grams or two sticks of room temperature unsalted butter and 225 grams or about one and a quarter cup of sugar and beat that until it's light and fluffy and then scrape down the sides of the bowl. Now add two teaspoons of cocoa powder, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and beat that until combined. Then you're going to add four egg yolks one at a time and beat well after each addition. Scrape down the sides of the bowl and then whisk together 300 grams or two and a half cups of all-purpose flour with two and a half teaspoons of double acting baking powder. Now you're going to alternate adding your dry ingredients and wet ingredients, beginning and ending with the dry ingredients. Add a third of your flour and briefly beat that in. Then add half of your dry red wine, which will total 185 milliliters or three quarters of a cup. Next, add in the second part of your flour and then the last half of your red wine and then finish off with the third part of your flour. Now fold in 130 grams or four and a half ounces of grated dark chocolate, alternating with your beaten egg whites. You're gonna fold everything in quite gently so as not to deflate your egg whites. After that, you're going to prepare your pan. For this cake, I'm using a traditional German shape called a Gugelhupf pan. I got this one from Nordicware, which I will link below, but you can just use a regular bunt pan if it's all you have on hand. If you do use this shape, you're going to want to carefully grease every nook and cranny with a pastry brush. I recommend using softened butter or shortening, not oil for this. I'm using oil here, but it didn't end up working out and my cake stuck to the pan. A soft solid fat works better and instead of sprinkling flour on top, use semolina. Those two things worked a charm for my second try. Now pour your batter into the pan, turning the pan as you go to evenly distribute the batter. Then you're going to bake that in a 350 degree Fahrenheit or 180 degree Celsius preheated oven for one hour and 15 minutes, possibly less time if you're using a regular bunt pan. Then you're gonna remove that and let it cool completely and then drizzle icing over it that is made with 150 grams of powdered sugar mixed with two to three tablespoons of red wine. Let's taste this beautiful cake. I find the flavor of this cake really surprising because I was expecting it to be very chocolatey, but it's not. The most prominent flavor for me is the cinnamon, 
and the chocolate is a light background flavor, which is unusual for a cake that has chocolate in it. It's dense, but not dry, and I love the flavor of the red wine and the icing. It's the perfect complement to the cinnamon and the chocolate. I definitely recommend this as a fall slash winter spice cake. It's really good. Now let's talk about what to look forward to with Christmas coming. In the next two videos, I will be sharing with you flaming treats. And by flaming, I mean things that you light on fire before you enjoy them. So that's gonna be really fun. You don't wanna miss those. And then in the month of December, I'm going to be putting out a Christmas cookie series. So definitely subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming Christmas videos. They're all going to be really fun. And while you're waiting, if you want another cake with alcohol, try my French rum cake. And if you want to get started on Christmas a little bit early, check out my Christmas playlist here. And for all those Americans out there, Thanksgiving's next week. If you want something slightly different than an apple pie, but is an apple dessert that you can bring to your Thanksgiving celebration, check out my Austrian apple strudel. And I'll see you next time.